American cuisine, to me, started out of the necessity of new food. And for me to capture a glimpse of the future and say, we're going to do American cuisine, was exciting to me. The 80s were a real uh, interesting time in cooking in America. You had different chefs in different parts of the country started their own thing. When we opened Spargo, the first thing was quality over quantity. To give nice portions, not huge portions, but have the best ingredients and then we try not to f them up. So it was very simple. I remember in 1982, our produce company didn't know what cilantro was. And you know, so we had to start from the very beginning. All of a sudden, I had small farmers that showed up at the back door. At the beginning, I didn't know what to make of them. I said, oh, you brought us some wonderful artichoke or some asparagus or apples. They were better than anything I saw at the big produce market. So little by little, we cultivated really a relationship with the smaller farmers, and that's what we cook. It's a great honor to be a pioneer of American cuisine and to see it develop through the years, but also in those early years, it was kind of like being a rebel. I loved it. To me, cooking has always been spontaneous, just like making love. One day, we ran out of brioche and uh, we served smoked salmon. I said, I'm gonna do it and serve a pizza bread on the side. Well, why not put it together and make a real smoked salmon pizza? I sent it out to Joan Collins and she said, oh, that's really the Joan Collins pizza. We did that 30 years ago and it's still as popular today as it was then. You know, we were gonna have our own cuisine and it was like, the French were resisting us all over the place. It can't be food, it's not done right. You know, this is, this is the classic cuisine. Well, no, scoot over, because American cuisine is here to stay.